Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Billy Forex. As you know, I'm doing a trip across the States uh, in September from uh, Baltimore to LA. Uh, you've seen that video, hopefully you know all the details about that, the cost, etc. Uh, but obviously what I want to do is capture as much as I can of this trip. I won't be filming a lot. Uh, I'll probably be doing, I'll probably capture about two hours worth of footage on the GoPro and the iPhone. Uh, the GoPro is going to be attached to the bike, obviously, filming front and rear and sides and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's going to be mostly for um, uh, going through the Appalachian Mountains and then a bit of Route 66, some of Arizona, some of the Bonneville Salt Flats if we get to it. Uh, maybe going through Vegas, that'll look quite cool, going through the Strip. Um, and onto the Pacific Coast Highway. Those are the main sort of filming areas. Uh, the ones that are probably going to be the most, um, what's the word, kind of picturesque. So with that in mind, and you know the bike I have is the Triumph Explorer. It's got the um, tube frame and the tube subframe. So it's ideal for mounting a GoPro to get all the footage that you need. So with that in mind, I have bought myself a RAM mount. Now you guys probably have heard of RAM. They do uh, really, really incredibly strong mounts for um, all sorts of uses uh, they use these in the military automotive uh, industry um, studios you know all that sort of stuff they're very strong they're very simple they're made out of very durable stuff uh, they absolutely will not break I mean um, you'd have to whack it with a hammer to do any damage to this thing so that's the RAM mount um, this is the the medium size one it comes in uh, a, the, the largest one is probably about twice the size. I didn't want anything too big kind of poking out the bike in case it caught on something if I'm leaning over too far and it catches on the on the curb of the road and it smashes the camera off and the camera rolls down the road and I keep going that way. So I've gone for the medium size one because obviously with a GoPro with the super wide view it captures everything anyway so there's no need you can kind of sacrifice space on here because the GoPro has got such a wide uh, uh, field of view. So that's the mount. This part goes on anywhere that you have a tube um, location. So for example, your handlebars, your crash bars, your rear subframe, your uh, tail rack, if it's a kind of tubular one. Uh, so anywhere it's got a tube, that will clamp onto that. With these, kind of uh, U-bend kind of screws clamp things they've got there so that goes onto that that goes onto the frame and then well when when the clamp bit is on the frame so you know if obviously those guys that have heard of RAM know what it's all about but those that haven't I'll just share it with you guys um, so that bit goes on the frame with the kind of U-bend uh, screw there and on the top here for the GoPro I bought myself a ball mount to go on the bottom of the camera all right so what it means is you've got a very versatile um, position to film anywhere you want capture all the different angles let's get this in there Oh, bloody hell, it's tough. But once it's on, that is it. It's not going anywhere. Jesus. That's not even tight and I can't even move it. Okay, so. So there you go. That's the, that's the entire system there. So you can see... You can see how um, manoeuvrable it is. So that bit will go into the bike. You can have it point in. Let's loosen it off a bit more. So that's not even tight. Look, it's, it's that tight. And yet it's hard to move the camera. So, like I said, that'll go into the frame. You can have it looking that way. You can have it poking right out and then you just turn that up and have it looking that way. If you want it going behind you, you can have it looking that way. So it's really adaptable to whatever situation you need to put it in. And I've got two of these mounts, so instead of unbolting this all the time all I have to do is just take that off 
and then put that onto the other mount on the bike. So I'm going to put two of these on the bike and I've also bought another sticky mount. So this will go on the towel rack, the Touratech towel rack that I fitted a few weeks ago. Uh, the idea is, is to film everything that's behind me. So with my mate that's coming on the trip, if he's going to overtake me, I'll tell him, you know, go back like half a mile, accelerate towards me, then go around me. You know that kind of look they do on the programs? That's for that. So that's all the gear, all the clamps, all that business. Let's get down to the bike, set it up, and I will give you a preview of how each position looks. So it gives you an idea of how the video is going to look and everything like that. It's more of a test for me as well just to see if it's, uh, you know, whereabouts I can put these mounts. All right, let's go to the bike and uh, give it a go. Cheers. All right, so this is the Touratech tail rack. You can see it's got a big enough space there at the back, just wide enough to fit on the uh, sticky mount. So let's stick this on and then see how it looks out on the road.
the last one on the mirror. So there you have it, I'm quite pleased with that actually. Um, I think it covers all ground, I quite like the shot coming up. I mean I probably won't use that a lot because you don't get much of the scenery which is the whole point of this thing. So as well as the uh, one at the back which faces towards my back and out to the back of the road, uh, there's that one, there's the one on the crash bars which obviously can face forward or back or up towards me. Uh, the one on the uh, wing mirror, which can also do me, plus the road. And the ones I didn't show you, which you probably already know I have, is the uh, sticky mount on top of the helmet. And the one on top of the windscreen at the front. Um, so I've, I've covered all ground there, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll just... Like I said before, do a, do like half an hour here and there every other day, get the best of each, try and get as much scenery in as possible with a lot of still shots as well. And um, we'll see how we go from there. But I think I'm pretty pleased with the results with that. One thing I forgot to mention beforehand is um, with all this camera work I'm, I'm doing and stuff is I've got an Instagram account set up, a Billy Four Rocks Instagram account. Uh, I'll put the link at the bottom of this video. Um, basically, it's just pictures I've taken over the years, if you're interested, of all the bike uh, journeys I've been on, pictures that you haven't seen on the uh, YouTube channel. Um, and yes, have a look. I'll put the link up um, and you, sh you might like it. Take it easy. See you soon and uh, be safe. Adios. one comes up to about there it's just got a spring in the middle to, to keep it keep it open oh fuck sorry <laughs>